Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a he, she reading for December 10th, 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. <clears throat> also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yeah, it's that time again to have another he-she reading. <clears throat> this is a timeless reading though, so it really doesn't matter when you watch it. When you feel guided to watch it, that's when it's your time. Anyways, um, I have his side and I have her side, okay? So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. These cards have been pre-shuffled. <clears throat> We're just going to go ahead and get the general energy for him, right? His general energy. General energy for him for December 10th, 2020 is... The Devil. So he could be a Capricorn or half Capricorn in his chart, but we have the devil right here and this indicates that there could be some addictions or codependencies going on, you know? Look at how he's offering these two. Look, ice cream, ice cream to the girl, something sweet and money to the boy, right? Look at that. Now think about that for a second. Ice cream to the girl, money to the boy. These cards are interesting because isn't that kind of like how real life is? The girls just want to be treated sweetly and treated kindly and treated well, right? It seems like the boys just want the money, <laughs> right? They're the money makers, the banker, well, whatever. It's, it's not really like that nowadays anymore, is it? But... <clears throat> you know, that was usually the idea. Now, look at the cats. They're like, don't, don't listen to him, right? Good kitties. They're like scratching on them, like, don't listen to that guy. Good kitties, right? Yep. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and, you know, keep moving along here. Let's put this on the outside, right, for some uh, space. I need some space. It's okay, as long as we could see that, the devil, right? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so let's get three cards, you know, and find out what is going on with him to start out. What is going on with him for this timeless reading that has been done on December 10th, 2020, right? What is going on with him? What is going on with him? What is going on? Alright. We have the lovers. Okay. So he's thinking about a lover or he's involved with a lover. Right? <clears throat> What's next? The Four of Cups. So he's worried that maybe a lover, um, that it's a lost opportunity with a lover. He's very upset, very sad. You know, possibly thinking about past mistakes right now. But, I mean, I do see, you know, there's that, that, there's somebody still offering a cup here, but he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it because he's focusing too much on the past regrets, resentments, mistakes, whatever, right? 
I also see the Page of Pentacles here. And this is about somebody <clears throat> who's trying to focus on where to go next, where, what's going to be most beneficial for him, right? That's what I'm getting here. Um, he doesn't have much, but he's ready to try and figure things out, right? Something, oh, something has happened to this person. It looks like he is you know, walking away from this tower. Do you see that? You know how the road goes around, curves around, comes up, or... Oh no, you guys. You know what this is? He's making a choice. He's making a choice of whether he should leave, uh, go one way or go the other. Now, one way has... Uh, like a community and house system, whatever. Another way has the tower, right? But another way leads away from both of those things. Ah, see that? <clears throat> and here's a map. So this person knows where this place and that place is, yeah? But where he's going, he doesn't know. It's like he's tossing a coin heads or tails right so he is trying to figure out where to go <clears throat> interesting All right so let's go ahead and clarify these cards a little bit let's get another you know a little bit more in depth on what is going on with this person you know with him clarify the lovers for him clarify the lovers for him please clarify the lovers for him clarify the lovers for him <clears throat> first out we have the knight of cups and this guy you know he has a message he has a message yeah, he's coming to tell somebody something in regards to some sort of emotions, right? Um, this person's not very committal, you know? And it's only because they're immature when it comes to their emotions or whatever. Um, they're still <clears throat> childlike in some sort of way, right? But I do see that this person is connected to someone. You know, whether it's you, I don't know. Or, you know. They're connected to someone. It could be they're connected to her, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Anyways. We have the lover's card here. Message will be coming in. I don't, it's not going to be a super sized, you know, let's get married. It's not going to be anything like that. It's going to just be friendly, I think. Friendly emotions, right? Why else is this lover's card here? Mm. We got the three of cups. Yeah. We got the three of cups somebody is you know wanting to work something out can we be friends again or something right i mean this devil energy though so well, it might be a capricorn we're dealing with right why else is this lovers here anything else okay no not really so somebody's coming in because they want to they want to work something out, right? With a lover. Uh, past position, lover in the past, maybe? I don't... Four of Cups, why is that there? Why is the Four of Cups there? <clears throat> why is the Four of Cups there for his side? Four of Cups for his side. Well, we have the Knight of Wands. Somebody's going to come in and make some sort of offer. See, there's an offer right here. There's a cup right here, though. So there's a cup attached to somebody coming in with a message, right? 
Now this is the player card. This is somebody bringing in a message of passion, right? But there's a cup here too. So there's love attached to that passion. Okay, that's what I'm feeling here. <clears throat> the thing is, is somebody here, it's just like they're... They're, they're still focused on those two, those three past mistakes or three past issues. And somebody here definitely just needs to get over it. So somebody here has an issue with letting things go. You know, I understand that. So that's what that is. Three of Pentacles. I'm sorry. I took this as Three of Pentacles, but it's Three of Cups. You see? I was mistaken. Hmm. But it's still in this, it's still, they still coincide with each other, which is strange. So maybe, you know, it was, see? Three and three. Jack and Jack. Do you see that? So basically, let me say this again. Somebody is coming in with a message of love. You see? And possibly there was a three-party situation involvement here. And now they want to work things out. Or they want to celebrate with you because you're going to work things out. They're coming in passionately to speak to you about love. Any of those stories can can fit here. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So you be the judge of that. Page of Pentacles. Why is that Page of Pentacles there? Why is that Page of Pentacles there? What is this person's next move? Well, what is going on here with that Page of Pentacles? Whoa. That kind of, that like pushed out of my hands king of pentacles okay so he's not actually a page <clears throat> he may appear to be like that but he's not he's a king of pentacles okay he's a lot of balance right um stability all that good stuff it's in the upright even you know so that's good i think what that page of pentacles is there for is this person's trying to make a decision trying to make a choice on which way to go now that they've become that king of pentacles, right? Playing it safe to, you know, maybe act like, look like a, a, a page so nobody tries to manipulate him. Smart guy, right? <clears throat> Somebody is, you know, in that energy. What else do we have here for that page of pentacles? Okay, now this person is, is not really very emotional or, or seeking any kind of love right now. We know that for sure. There's no love right here. This person is, is not involved romantically with anyone, anywhere. And you know what's crazy is before this card flew out, I was thinking, you know, there's really no, not too many love cards, right? I mean, there's this message of love and maybe three-party situation or celebration but it's not really lovey-dovey here we have the lovers card so there's somebody who definitely loves somebody definitely i think what it is is this person is emotionally uh stunted like they don't have that in them to be emotional you you, you understand what i'm saying about that <clears throat> so that's why that's why this is like this Maybe, oh, you know, remember the devil card, you guys? Remember? Maybe this guy is um, only used to um, people um, telling them, like, give me this, give me that, get me this, get me that, right? <clears throat> and so this person in their whole life has thought that if they give somebody something, they will get the love, right? Um, and so they would do whatever they could do to get those things, to take it to 
whoever it was that caught their eye or caught, has their interest or whatever, or family, whatever, they would just go and get it and bring it back because they wanted to be recognized and loved. <clears throat> that's a form of manipulation that's so bad. It's so bad that somebody may feel like that, like they have to do that. And they will go to any lengths to bring back something to that person who said they wanted this, that, or the other, just to get a little love. Like, it was like, uh, if you didn't bring them something, they wouldn't love you. It was like, like, that's shitty, that sucks. But this person had that ingrained into their psyche, their subconscious, that that is what you need to do to obtain love. So perhaps this person has also been taken advantage of basically their whole life up until the point they realize this, which I'm not sure if they're, I think they're trying to realize other things right now, but they don't realize this part, the devil energy. I think, well, that's their energy, right? But I don't think they understand the underlying cause of this energy, right? That's what I'm feeling like. And the underlying cause is you don't need to give anyone anything to love them or to be loved. Love is a free thing. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just going to set that up back over there. All right. <clears throat> So, yeah, this is so far, you know, this is what we have going on with this guy, right? So, you know, let me set these over here. We're going to go ahead and see, you know, what is her energy now, right? <clears throat> I'll try not to tap on the table like that. It shakes the whole, I mean, you know. So, general energy for her for December... 10th 2020 even though this is a timeless reading is <clears throat> wow okay we have strength you see that now you could be dealing with somebody who has Leo in their chart but Somebody, this person, she has, she's a very strong person, this one, right? She has a lot of confidence, strength, whatever, passion. That's a good energy to have for her side. Let's see, uh, <laughs> right? Let's see what comes out for her. Ooh. One more card. Right? One, two, three. Well, we have two reversals I can tell already. Because, you know, these cards you can tell from the back side. But for some reason, you know, they look... That's a nice color blue right there, right? See that? It's nice. <laughs> yeah, but let's see what's underneath, right? Okay. <clears throat> Five of Wands in the reverse. Whew. Right? No more mental conflict and none of that stuff. No arguing, bickering, fighting with anyone. Just chilling. <laughs> right? I was I was tensing up a little bit because it was in the reverse, but I didn't know what it was. But then I was like, ooh, that, was, that blue actually looks really nice. So maybe these aren't going to be too bad. <laughs> you know, and, and good. See, I, oh, I overreacted. I worried for nothing. You see, didn't even need to go through all that mess for what? It turned it turned out fine. Being released from conflict, mental or physical or outer 5D, 3D, whatever. And that's good. So being strong, uh, healing, I would say that would be. Let's see what this is. Two of Swords making decisions right when it's in the upright it's like you got to make a decision in the reverse making decisions right good 
I had a good feeling. I should have went with the good feeling instead of the nervous, anxious feeling like, oh my God, they're going to be devastating cards. And they're not. They're like totally good. And, and I should have followed my intuition, but you know, some it's hard sometimes. All right. It's hard sometimes. Everybody, you know, not everybody's a perfect intuition follower. Sometimes you make mistakes. Her choice is to work on herself, work on her craft. You know, she has all the tools she needs. She has the strength to do it, the confidence to do it. That's what she's going to do. This is the choice that she has made. And that is to work on her pentacles. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, good idea, right? So let's find out. Let's find out. Let's, you know, clarify. Ooh. Make sure that the cards are in the upright. How do these, how are these looking? Okay, yeah, they're okay. <laughs> I was just making sure because I was feeling kind of weird about them, but <clears throat> why, uh, why is this five of wands in the reverse? Yeah, five of wands in the reverse. Tell us about that for her side. Okay. <clears throat> oh, two cards came out. Seven of cups. All right, now this is about options, having a lot of options, or it's about illusions. Maybe she's thinking that all these thoughts and mental conflicts she has were all about illusions. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's what it is. I think what she, okay, she had an issue. Mm -hmm. She had an issue. She thought that being married was the only option this is not true you have a lot of options you know or she has a lot of options she was in some sort of mental conflict about how things like that should go like uh, oh you can never be happy if you don't have marriage or or you're supposed to be married. Everybody must get married and have family. You know, I mean, <clears throat> okay, maybe if it happens, it happens. But this is not the absolute. You could follow maybe a more spiritual path and focus yourself on spirit. You know, on God, on the universe, whoever. And that's good for, a, shoot, that's good for a long time, actually, to do that. That's like a, that's a longevity relationship. And she may have realized this now. And this is why she's out of this mental conflict, because she's ready to have a different type of relationship. One of a more spiritual level. A more intimate level, you know. So she has definitely decided or made a choice that she is going to work on herself, work on her craft, whatever it is that she's doing, whatever, she, I don't know. We all got our gifts, right? What is she working on, right? What well, she made a choice on that. Why is this two of swords in the reverse? king of wands because this is possibly her energy right in a king energy yes yes this just means that she's a little more outspoken than the queen you know speaks up has courage you know nowadays a lot of women do though they're not as timid as they used to be she has made her choice and she is speaking up right this card doubles in this deck as the magician. She is in magician energy. Manifesting shit for herself. You know what I'm saying? Look at healing herself. I told you. Didn't I tell you about healing right here? Healing. Hoping to heal herself, right? This is the star. She's She has planted seeds of healing. Oh shit, this is this is good. She has planted seeds of healing. Seven of Pentacles. She is nurturing those seeds. 
to heal. This is so nice right here. <laughs> you guys, shit. <clears throat> so, why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here for her? Okay. So she's doing this, she's doing all this because there was some sort of uh, deception, backstabbing energy. This is why something had put her in this state of mental conflict, right? She pulled herself out of it. She had the strength to do that and arose like a king, though. Yeah, that's fucking gnarly, right? And then the Eight of Pentacles, I'm just going to work on myself, right? Because this, I'm not going to let this bullshit, this backstabbing energy, you know, uh, uh, prevent me from from succeeding, from moving forward, from having the success that I deserve. That's how she is, right? That's her energy. Let me get one more card here for that Eight of Pentacles. One more card for that Eight of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, you guys. Double confirmation, Eight of Pentacles again. She don't give a shit what anyone says. She's still going to do it. <laughs> this is great this is very not good you know damn all right so <clears throat> that's what she's doing so you guys notice uh a little bit of mirroring right here do you guys notice that that it doesn't seem like either of them are dealing with anyone else do you notice that this one yes the lover's card is here but it's, I remember I told you, I don't feel like it's that kind of love, like, you know. Even though also we do have this right here, right? She actually had the strength to not deal with that. You know, because she's a grown-ass woman. Look, she's a grown-ass woman. She ain't gonna deal with the devil. You see how the devil is coaxing the children, the younger individuals, taking advantage of them? And look at the woman. She's like, it's kind of like a, a shaking my head, shaking my fucking head, right? Looking at this guy like, you friggin' nasty fool. Stop doing that. You know what I'm saying? Evil. I don't know what he's got. Uh, or maybe... Somebody could be coaxing him like that. Maybe he's in the energy of one of those kids, like that little boy who is being coaxed with money. Wow, that might be it. Holy shit. Sometimes I hate people because they're so friggin' evil, right? So manipulating, so egotistical, and it makes me so darn angry. Why? Gosh, stop teaching kids that stuff, I think. It feels good to have friends and like each other. It's very good to feel that way. Let's find out. <clears throat> Let's find out uh, what's next here for his side, right? Okay, I just want to straighten these cards out real quick. So we kind of have the gist of the story now, right? What is going on with him? There are several different variations, right? Several. You just have to pick yours, right? They're not all yours. This is so mixed up, you know? There's so many things here. So don't, you know, manifest, right? Don't manifest weird stuff. Let me get... Uh, let me get three more cards. 
We got three more cards for him. Three more cards for him. No, nope, I got two. Okay. Oh, that's too many. I'll put the furthest one back. The furthest one back is the Queen of Cups. So he could be dealing with a Queen of Cups or um, he could have water in his chart. This could be an energy of his, either or, right? Um, Queen of Cups is, is real super psychic. Yeah, yeah. Queen of Cups is a nurturing motherly type. Mm -hmm. um, this Queen of Cups nurtures every single person she comes across, somehow, some way, with words, gifts, smile, because she has a weird energy to her that radiates out, and people can feel that. Not like, you know, like they know where it's coming from. But when she comes around, they feel that, that warmth, that vitality, that friendliness. Huh. <laughs> I never described her like that, but I guess that's who this person is. I don't know. Oh, this is a person that this guy loves. Queen of Cups. You know? He loves somebody that's Queen of Cups energy, right? Oh, that's the one that goes back. That's the one that goes back. You guys got mixed up. Here's the card that comes out. Ace of Wands. It's nice, the Ace of Wands, you know, starting new passion, beginning, blah, 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 right? But this could also be that, you know, this is just Ace of Wands. They're just coming to fuck or something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn. You know, shoot, man. Because you know that Ace of Wands, when you go through all the cycles, what's the final cycle? Burden, right? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> right? Sorry to burst your bubble. Put it on top for now. We know that's the lovers. Yeah. Once you go through the whole wand cycle, it's like Ten of Wands, Burden at the end until you can start a new cycle brand new <laughs> right anyways that's the energy ace of cups though okay okay wait so there is love involved here and that's probably what's in that cup right there you see it she may have sent that messenger boy to send off the cup of love to this person who was crying about whatever has happened in their relationships or reminiscing about the past mistakes blah, 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 you know I don't know <laughs> right and then we have the moon somebody may escape somewhere and sneak away somebody is sneaking away where they have love and passion love and passion not just passion okay there's love here there's love overflowing love god I don't remember if I shuffled these did I? I don't, I don't know but let me just get a couple in I'm wondering about that ace of wands right we want to see what the ace of wands is definitely wants to the lover who's coming back wants to have some you know they want to hook up right they're trying to hook up all right but that's not all but first we're going to see why is that ace of wands here for sure right why is the ace of wands here ace of wands why is that ace of wands there okay okay Queen of Wands. So this person is in the Queen of Wands energy. Confident, strong, independent. 
that's good. That's good for him, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> that's freaking good for him because in the past, oh, you know what? No, it's in the reverse. Darn. He doesn't have the... Darn, dude. It's in the reverse. I got all excited for a second because I thought it was in the upright, but it's not. It's in the reverse. He does not have the confidence or strength to do something. Maybe to be in a commitment, to have longevity with somebody, with a lover. That's why they're only bringing the wand in. They don't have the strength or confidence or independence that the Queen of Wands would have. They don't have that within them. <clears throat> right? This is maybe why they might manipulate... This is a, a person who has a lot of insecurities. But we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. Oh, remember I told you guys about this guy? Maybe he grew up thinking that he has to give, give to people. He's bringing this to a Queen of, of Wands who is pissed off at him. Because he wants to wave the wand. <laughs> He wants to show passion, but he can't do it. Gosh, it's almost like if this person is involved with someone, it's like he feels like he has to buy something for that person just so he can have sex. That friggin' sucks. This is a person who doesn't have real love in his life. Doesn't even... Yeah, darn. Darn. <laughs> I know someone like that. Darn. Shame, shameful. Why? Because they only want the special looking people. They're shallow. Right? That's why. They're shallow. Why is this Ace of Cups here? <clears throat> Ace of Cups. Oh. So... This person um, is so sad and worried about the past cups uh, that were lost. He doesn't realize that one cup is there, right? <clears throat> and it's being sent uh, a new start for this person. But this person is not making any moves, though. That's the thing. They're not making any moves. They're staying in whatever toxic situation they're in right now. Because there might be, like I said, we have the devil right there. There's addictions here. There's some sort of addiction that's keeping this person behind because this person's happiness lies with their addictions, right? <clears throat> they don't have they don't have the strength, I'm telling you. They don't have the strength like the Queen of Wands. They don't or confidence. They don't have that. Five of Cups, you see? <clears throat> They're just gonna go ahead and be sad about this loss of love, right? Because they're so in their head. They're so addicted to whatever something is. Whatever, whatever. You know, they're, I don't know what it is. It could be anything. It's different for everyone. But this person is so deep in their addictions that they can't, they, all they can do is just mourn over loss of possibly a lot of good relationships. Not just one, but many because of these addictions. These two are going to go back. But we have the Knight of Pentacles here. This is about a slow movement, slow message coming in. We also have the Three of Cups here. And this is third party situation or celebration. I don't feel like there's any celebration on his side. Now that I know that there's, you know, that devil energy. Those addictions standing in the way. There is no celebration. There isn't. <clears throat> so we have the Moon card, right? Secrets. Somebody may be trying to slip away from a situation. They're keeping it a secret. Trying to slip away, right? Let's see. Why is that moon there exactly? Why is that moon there? Why is that? Four of Cups. They're trying to slip away because they're worried about missing an opportunity or they want to offer somebody something to someone. What else? What else? What else for his side? For that moon. Not four cups. What else? Oh shit, that's a lot. 
Let's keep going. I'm not. I'm gonna take them. Um... What else for that moon and that four of cups? Queen of Pentacles. So somebody's somebody's gonna try to sneak away from uh, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we got two people here involved. We got a uh, or well. On, the, on his side, he does have somebody. There's this Queen of Pentacles right here. Um, this person is trying to sneak away from this person because he feels like he has a missed opportunity somewhere. Um, he wants to make an offer to someone, but there's a Queen of Pentacles involved here, right? He may be headed towards the Queen of Pentacles if he's not involved with the Queen of Pentacles. He might be headed towards the Queen of Pentacles. All right, Queen of Pentacles is I don't know. All right, we don't know. Hasn't showed up here on her side, so. Uh, but that appears to be where he's headed towards a Queen of Pentacles, keeping it a secret, not telling anybody, because there's an offer that this person wants to give to that person, which is I don't know. You know, we do have the remember there's a devil there offering those little kitties, you know, trying to persuade them. You know, look, 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 giving to two. <laughs> giving to two. Should just know that from this card. Giving to two. There's two kids right there. You see what I'm saying? Not necessarily have to be a boy and a girl, but I'm just saying. There's two. So let's keep moving along. Let's see what's let's see what's on her side, cause you know we do kind of see what is going on with this this one, right? Somebody's taking off from, or sneaking away, right? So they're sneaking away. The reason why they're sneaking away is because they're not leaving. The, they're not actually leaving the toxic situation. That's why. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm just catching right now. They're sneaking away. Like, why, why would they have to sneak away? What's the big deal, right? So they're sneaking away to go towards a queen of pentacles. They're sneaking away because they're involved in something. Oh, yeah, the addictions. They're sneaking away. He's this person has to sneak away to go to some sort of normalcy, right? Yeah, because where they're at is all toxic. This guy or this he needs to sneak away towards some sort of normalcy in their life because what they're going through now is just so uh, overwhelming. Sometimes you need to take a break from that shit, right? Yeah, towards something normal. Let me get three cards for her side, please. Oh, didn't come out. Three cards for her side. All right, where we go? We get the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Two more cards, please. There's two more cards. The Hermit. Two of Cups. And just as she makes this choice and, and gets out of this mental conflict or arguing, fussing, fighting, whatever she's got going on in that sense, here comes that Knight of Wands. The heck does he want? It appears that he's went within, maybe, or he's coming to speak to her in her hermit mode, right? Because she's also going through healing, working on herself, doing that. So somebody's coming to interrupt her hermit mode, right? Her her mode of healing to offer love. 
Are you serious? Really? Don't fuck with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit. Are you serious now? What's going on here? Is this for reals? It's like it's like we go through all these these trials and tribulations in our life and finally we're making milestones by healing ourselves. And all of a sudden the universe throws a monkey wrench right in, you know? <laughs> it's these tests. I'm telling him I'm getting tired of the tests. Somebody's coming in. Somebody's coming into her after she's found her healing and her strength and all this business. But you know what? This is her energy. She still remains strong. Even from this. Right? Even from this. Remember, somebody's sneaking away from something. Okay, I just got a thought. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Somebody might be sneaking away from uh, a family that doesn't agree with their lover. Yeah, I just got that. Doesn't necessarily mean they're sneaking away from a lover. They could be sneaking away from uh, people who don't like another person. It could be that too. You know, like Romeo and Juliet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They had to sneak around because they loved each other, but the families didn't like each other or something like that, right? <clears throat> yeah. So, well, I guess we can go ahead <laughs> and find out why. Why is this Knight of Wands right here? Why is this Knight of Wands right here? Why is this Knight of Wands right here? Whoa! Dang! I hate when it does so many cards. Okay, look, one, two, three... Uh, I'll put this one. No, no, no. We'll keep this one here because it landed right where it's supposed to go. <clears throat> and we'll take these three. We'll put them back. Okay, okay, okay. I'm doing it the intuitive way. <laughs> All right. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. There's no longevity with this guy. That's why she remains strong. She knows that already. She's pulled herself out of this. She knows this person already. That's how good that she has healed. She sees that there is no longevity with this person because he's a player. He doesn't want to have a happy family, happy home. He doesn't want to be comfortable and set in life. He wants to just be a player and try to schmooze off of others and get what he can from others. There's no money there. There's This person is not going to have no longevity in this situation. No. Uh-uh. Not as long as they are this type of energy, the Knight of Wands player energy, they're not going to have that. The universe doesn't um, agree with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. Gosh, a whole bunch of cards on the fly out for this. I'm not taking these. Let me see how it goes back in. <sighs> I just need one more card for that Knight of Wands. One more card only. One more card, please. Only one. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, this is a tough opponent, though. This is a tough opponent because this person is like a master liar. They're good at liar. They're good at deceiving. Right? They're good at arguing. So whoever this Knight of Wands is who's coming into whoever, uh-uh. Don't do it. Whatever it is, don't do it. Right? Why is that hermit there? Right? Ooh, yeah, see, look, four of wands in the reverse. So this could be the karmic, you know, person coming in. Not the one, not the not the soulmate you want. Right? Not the right one. <laughs> my gosh you guys this remind me uh, on the facebook i have this little gif it's so cute it has like uh snow white she's laying down and as prince charming is coming to give her a kiss she pushes his face away <laughs> this totally reminds me of that like the soulmate the the, the universe is standing to you you know it's uh, is, is you know she's pushing it away right and, and you know this one i think she's gonna push this one away She's giving it some thought. This is a tough opponent, but not tougher than her. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
and she understands that it's a soulmate. Yeah, yeah. You are my soulmate, yes. But you are not the soulmate. <laughs> right? Yeah, you know, you guys. Let me get one more card for that hermit. She's went within. She knows now. One more card for that hermit. One more card for that hermit. Okay, there it is. Damn. <laughs> All right. So we got the three of cups in the reverse. No more third party situations. This is not a celebration. No. What you think? <laughs> Coming in here with your emotions. Who are you going to give your emotions to tomorrow, right? Yeah, that's the energy I'm getting. Why is that two of cups there? Why is that two of cups there? Two of cups, two of cups for her side. Timeless reading. Two of cups for her side. What is it? Ooh, ace of cups. So, so somebody is trying to start something new when it, in regards to emotions, right? A new love or oh <laughs> so look this person who comes in all flighty and shit trying to think he can just you know come and kick his feet up on your you know you know what i'm saying and you're like no thank you for the lesson uh um, i haven't seen you in a long time uh it's not time to celebrate i'm busy maybe some other time or maybe no no more <laughs> you know once you set this person free, I think, or once she sets somebody free, new love comes in. Right? But but she's attached to him. Well, maybe it's this this action that she takes to let them go and say, you know, no thanks. You want to be a player? Go play somewhere else. That's what might change this person and bring in the real cup of love right because before maybe they just didn't know i don't know maybe they were just a player before somebody did something somebody changed somebody because now the new love is here and i'm not feeling like it's a new love i really am not it may be an old love with a new outlook i don't know look we got the queen of cups i told you queen of cups queen of cups but this time in the upright why? Because this person now has the confidence to come forward <clears throat> to her. You see what I'm saying? He is sneaking away from a queen of pentacles to go towards a queen of wands, I think, possibly. This is a possibility, right? If he's not doing that, he is sneaking away from a queen of wands to a... Queen of Pentacles, who's very passionate, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Take it how it resonates. But somebody's sneaking away to get to someone. Oh, 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 you guys, look. <laughs> I know, you know, if I sit back for a second, sometimes just think, just comes to me. Look. He is going, look, 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 look. He is going to, uh, he is leaving, okay, shh, <laughs> shh, he is leaving a queen of pentacles to go towards a queen of wands, right? This is going to be his future person, I think, because look, right now he's at the stage of night. Over here, he passes over the stage of queen, right he's in he is in this energy but it's in the reverse because he doesn't have the guts right remember we saw the queen of, of uh, the king of sword uh, wands here you know he is going uh, this is her this is her main energy is the king outspoken female right possibly and um He's going to come in, possibly, uh, in the Queen of uh, Wands energy, which is what? It was uh, confidence, strength, um, passion. Uh, yeah, those were, the, those were the things, right? I'm sure there's more, but those were the main things, right? Courage. Did I say that? I don't know. Uh, right? So that's good. 
okay so there was a, ch a change here um, the thing is is yeah this right here there could be that change right but remember about this here what happened okay so just don't be all open arms you know because remember what happened you have to make if you are resonating with the the her side make sure that you remember what happened in the past what are they doing differently to show you otherwise today right make sure make sure because these are some shady sneaky individuals out there i'm just saying i don't know i didn't mean to be yelling i'm sorry but i'm just saying freaking sneaky bastards all right be careful that's all i'm saying be careful so i'm gonna end it right there because we kind of have the gist of the story but I did, I did have one more uh, deck uh, here on the side. <clears throat> Got the gypsy cards, yeah. Let's ask the gypsy, you know, what is, you know, no big deal, just a quickie. <laughs> Let's ask the gypsy. What, what do you think about his side, gypsy? Tell us a little message for his side of the reading, please three cards let me get two more cards let me get two more cards please let me get one more card for his side please there it is okay so what I have here first we have gift so there is a gift that's going to be given right or received but somebody's gonna be angry somebody's gonna be dealing with some sort of anger in regards to this gift oh somebody's gonna find out that somebody's going to be taking a gift to someone somebody's gonna get really pissed off and there's gonna be some sadness and who's gonna have the sadness the queen of pentacles whoever this whoever he's dealing with this that he's uh sneaking away from so either way you know there's going to be some sort of sadness now if he didn't come forward if this isn't him coming forward to try and do something or if this or if i'm sorry if this is him right here healed up from you know somebody saying take take a hike right um if he's trying to come back with a cup uh with courage and all this to her you know because he's maybe also seen that she's been working He's possibly also been working. Um, even though that's happening here, uh, still somebody's going to be sad out of the whole thing. Right? Let's find out why, you know, because somebody's not, you know, we got, it's a three-party situation. Look, three of cups. Right? So, let me get three cards for her side. In regards to this story, let me get three cards, please. Gypsy lady. Gypsy. Okay. Let me get two more cards. One more card. Okay. So for her first card, she has journey, so she might be taken off, you know, either she might be taking off or somebody's making a journey to come towards her, you know, like that Knight of Wands, right? Those are the two choices. We also have enemy. This is a, this is possible karmic situation here, right? This is not your soulmate. This is the lesson person, you know, uh, maybe that twin flame deal. It's not... You don't want to be with your twin flame. I'm sorry. You want to be with the person that heals from being a twin flame, right? You want that perfect version of themselves, which is a perfect soulmate, right? Twin flame, no, that's the one who teaches you the lessons. You don't want that person. 
You want the person who has healed him, who has turned into, well, a good enough soulmate that the universe allows you to be with them. Right? Because the universe is not going to put you with a nightmare. No. You, hear, you, you understand how logical that is? Just saying. So this person, definitely an enemy, right? That's how you look at that, how she looks at them. Anyway, she has made the choice to separate herself from this person. Not having any parties or celebrations with this person because she knows it's an enemy. Uh, she also knows the reason why uh, this person... Um, and she also knows that this person is married. Mm -hmm. Wow. That sucks, huh? The problem here is they're still both holding on to each other. This is the issue. This is why these keep showing up in the readings, these types of readings, is because these two will not let go. Well, what are you guys going to do? Don't stay in this energy forever. You're going to have miserable lives. I'm going to say what everybody hates. Snap out of it. Find someone else. Stay with your wife or your husband or whoever you're with. Stay with them. Leave it alone. You married them because you love them, right? Because you want to be together forever with them only, right? If you didn't, why are you there? To be miserable the rest of your life? If you're not happy there, why are you staying? You weren't born to be miserable. You were born to find happiness and to be happy, regardless of what anyone says. Yes, including family. Who gives a shit? You gotta take care of you, because ain't no one else gonna do it. Ain't no one out there fighting to make you happy. So you gotta get it yourself. <clears throat> Don't be stuck in a trap. So, you guys enjoyed the reading <laughs> don't forget to subscribe like comment and share you know um if i came off a little abrasive i'm sorry i didn't mean it it's just you know you know i love you guys anyhow um but um yeah don't forget to subscribe like comment and share also keep it true love energy happy friendly and loving types we have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful right yeah all right, you guys. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you next time. Bye.